Hi, my friend. It's Pat Sloan here on a Scrapalicious day. That's what's on our calendar is Scrapalicious. So we're going to start with that. Now I have been sewing the two and a half inch squares together and I want to talk a little bit about that because that is my basic scrap system. Basic plus a little bit other stuff. So I have been making blocks that are four by four with a color of some sort and a very, very light, you know, a white based light with that color. And when I do these, I can do them as I'm sewing other things so they can start and end chain piecing or start and end something else I'm piecing. And when I do that, I create gobs of blocks that I can either set all together into one quilt uh, or I can add them as borders around other things. Uh, so they're very versatile. They give you a little punch a little, you know, step up to what you're working on. So I've showed you this panel that I got, the unicorn panel, and now I can't find that online anymore. So you all have bought it. <laughs> so you can try on Etsy or somewhere else. And there's other cute unicorn panels out there. So I went with the pinks and, you know, white with a little pops of purple for this one. And that's what I've been working on, uh, getting these. And the other day I thought, oh, I just need to see how they look. And I've got quite a few. This is the bin that I'm actually working with. So I've got this little basket of the two and a half inch squares all set, sitting here, ready to, um, ready to use as I'm, as I'm sewing other things like this. Here is two rows for a block. And I do four by four. And the reason why is I have four by four, I can just set them one after another. I always set the light in the top uh, left corner, this one, and then I don't have to, you know, they just go one right, right next to the other like this. They're always then alternating. So I don't have to think about it if you do a four by four. Now, when I get the rest of these done, which I'm totally motivated now because I basically have half of what I need. I will probably do a little inner border. I'll do a little math, figure out, I'll trim up that panel, uh, including like a half inch inner border. And then I can just do the checkerboard all the way around. So I think that'll be super, super cute. It'll be a charity quilt. So I think that is fabulous. I'll probably just do it as a top and then give it off to the charity group so they can quilt it. So what else I have? This big, huge stack of aqua and um, the whites that I've been working on. Do you want to see those up together? Yes. Okay, give me a sec. There we go with the aquas and the whites. Ah, this looks so gorgeous. So this one I really would like to make for my bed, I think. I think that would be really nice and then I'll use it for a while. Uh, now, one of the things I don't do is I actually don't put these together yet. I wait until I have them all done and put them together. And also while I'm sewing, if I have some pieces that are not quite two and a half inch, but there's like two of them, I will sew them together and make a seam. Let me show you this. I've got a couple of them actually in this block. So I have like, there's a seam on this one and on that one. And this one has two seams, uh, lucky block. Uh, oh, there's one up there too. <laughs> a lot got in that particular block. I also will look for directional items when I finally uh, do this and do the layout. I will wanna put things that are directional right side up whenever possible. I just like doing that. So there actually will be a top to this, like right here, the cupcake's upside down. We just can't have that. So do the cupcake. This is a much hoarded fabric of mine. <laughs> I think I still have a little bit of it left. So that'll go up there. And not all of the backgrounds, like I have black in them. I have a, a dot in the, the, the um, you know, there's a red polka dot there. So they're not all just white, white, which I think really makes it fun. So there you go. I really love the aqua. I think that that, oh, that is so fabulous. Now I will finish the pink one with the unicorn panel first, and then I'll go back to sewing more of these because this will take you know quite quite a bit more to make a full quilt. Although they do go very fast if you're doing a lot of patchwork, and that is the only thing you're using to sew in between. Often I'm working on more than one project, or maybe like uh, Midnight Moon where there's more than one block that I'm doing at the same time, and so I use those to go. 
uh, to sew between. I'll take the other blocks uh, shapes and sew them as starts and finishes. Uh, that way I don't always use the two and a half inch squares. So they sometimes take a little longer to build up if depending on what my mode of sewing is. So I really, really like that. The other one I have that I just thought I'd pop it up here again to show you. I haven't worked on it at all, but uh, because it's in the right sitting next to these in the drawer down here in the cabinet, uh, I thought I'd just show it to you. And that is the red and white strips with the um, sort of lattice work blocks. So let's take a look at that one again. There it is, there it is, ah! Every time I see it, I'm like, that is just the coolest thing. I have to thank Monica again for saying, sew that up when I put them next to each other on the wall the one time, which was sometime last year. The biggest dilemma, if you've been following this for a little while, is that this is a rectangle, which means I either have to make it somehow longer to add in a full another block, or I just make this a square and I sort of rebuild this just a little bit to make it a square, which means either unpicking it, which I probably wouldn't do, or just chopping off uh, some parts of it, maybe the outer border a little bit to make it a square. Now, if I vote making it a square, it is still a great wall hanging. It can go in my hall and it would uh, definitely get done a lot faster. <laughs> Probably. Probably a lot faster because I don't have to make any more of those outside blocks, even though I do have one set still here. To expand it is quite a bit of work too because that means I have to rework that center to be a rectangle and it's got to be I've got to make it about that much longer, which is what, about eight inches? Um, which is a lot, a lot to make the sides narrow and the top and bottom deeper. So I think I'm going for just making it a square, um, which will alleviate a lot of problems. I do have to do a bit of math and figure out what size it actually needs to be, uh, that kind of stuff. So I just thought I'd put it up here again to show you because it is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, I can't wait, I can't wait. And I don't know, I just sort of put those up there. I would need to rearrange those uh, like this one here because you see it makes that line. We can't have that. Well, no, 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 no. So, I think it actually has to be a different block. There's that, this actually creates like two different blocks. I don't know how it goes. So yeah, let me see, is this the one? Yeah, there we go. That one works up there. See, now it goes like this, makes like a V. So, you know, you have to mess around with the blocks to get the ones there, it makes a V. And then down here now, that'll make a V. Yeah, so they all have to be messed around with a bit to get them into the right places which is fine you know that that can be done what else is going on birdsong has arrived it's hitting your stores uh that is fabulous we're going to do two sew alongs with birdsong one is the strawberry pattern uh, that my friend wendy shepherd designed and then the star pattern using the panel so i'm going to show you the panel again uh, there's a kit at the Fat Quarter Shop for the strawberry, but there's no, no kit for the star. So you just buy the, buy the fabric. You could also buy the Fat Quarter Bundle and use it for summer camp, which starts in June. If you want to do that, that would be super fun. So I'll be talking about it a bit more. I also am going to do the little birdie. I don't know that I'll do the whole quilt, but I'm gonna do a few blocks from the little birdie and we can do that as a sew along, which is a free bird pattern, which is super darling. And I think will be so cute in bird song. So that's super, super fun. I can't wait. Things. They just take a while and then all of a sudden everything is happening such as next week starts the tantalizing table toppers, the um, tour, the book tour. So I have 12 of my friends who are going to or have already made something from the book and will be sharing it and each person will be giving away a copy of my tantalizing table toppers. And here I have to put this in here like this and sneak peek do you know what this is yes can you guess it is a sew along from the book i am doing a sampler 
from the for the, from the book like we did for the last book, uh, which was Happy Everything. Uh, this one will have a couple of bonus blocks plus a block from each of the projects in the book. And I've been working on the layout. It's out to be edited now, the pattern, the actual pattern. Uh, so that will be, I'll get that on the calendar when the June calendar is released, I'll have that on there. Uh, so happy, so happy to get that done. I did that, worked on that over the weekend as that was my job. <laughs> Got it accomplished. Okay, a few other things. Ah, so I wanna uh, do a little segment on starching uh, the fabric for Midnight Moon. Cause I am going to starch, I think a few of them for these next two blocks. Be uh, Birds in the air and the crown of thorns. I'll do, I'll do the, them both. Um, and I don't usually starch, but these, these three inch blocks are really tiny. And so I thought I would do that and we'll take a look at that now. Midnight Moon quote along from the Summer Moon book. We are doing uh, Crown of Thorns and the Birds in the Air. The Birds in the Air have a lot of triangles and I have kept off these triangles that I sewed from the cutaways, from the sew and flip cutaway. So these I think will make one of the blocks. I am not going to do the largest block for that, for the Birds in the Air because, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Birds in the Air, because I am going to use the bat. So I'm not, I only have to do two of those blocks and these should fit nicely. Uh, also, we have the crown of thorns and that has the dot and I have to do all three. So I decided for the dot, rather than, I'm not big on starching a whole bunch of fabric. I mean, this is like, I think over a yard of fabric. I just, that just doesn't work for me. I don't like doing that. So I am just cut off a piece that I will starch and then I'll go through and get the other two fabrics for that block and starch them. Uh, then I have here, then I have a background for the other two, for the two blocks of, of um, birds in the air. And I want to starch this. So here's my blocks. Look at them. Look, look at that stack. <gasps> so good. So good. Okay, let's talk about the starch. I use Niagara, which a lot of people use. I will starch it and then take it over here to the drying rack, which actually it's nice out today. At least, well, it was raining earlier, but it stopped raining. So I'm thinking I can just, you know, starch this and put them out on the drying rack and they won't take that long to dry. Then I will let it dry and then I press them. So I don't press them wet. I have pressed them wet, but but I'm not going to press them wet today. So let me just show you how much starch I use. Everybody's different and what you want out of the whole thing. I'll just show you what I do. Uh, and remember, I am not a person who starches everything. I starch very little, mostly for smaller patchwork. So we'll do, here's the smaller piece. I just, I want to get it wet. You know, I want to get the whole thing wet. So I generally would put this a cloth like this on top of my ironing board, but because we are here at the table, uh, so then I'm just going to take this starch and make it wet. And once it's wet, so now I can just sort of check the back. The back is not, the other, you know, it didn't soak through to the other side. So I need, can you see that? See how it's not wet there. If you've not used starch in a long time or ever, uh, it, it gets wet pretty fast, so you can saturate it. And there, of course, there's all kinds of starch. There are starches you can make of your own. There are liquid ones that you soak the whole thing. Uh, this works for me since I am not doing this all the time. And I do want to get be sure everything gets wet. Sometimes you have these pockets. It's like, like there. Like how how can I miss that? How does that get missed? There we go. Like right here. This is missed. So. There we go. So now I will take this and put it on my drying rack there outside and just let them dry and press them once they're completely dry and they will be stiff enough for me to use in the patchwork. Okay, a wrap up, <laughs> wrap up, wrap up. So I have uh, one, two, two more, do I have two? One, whatever it is. 
So be sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Click the button down below that says subscribe. It is free. It just let, gives you notices if you click the bell as to when the new uh, videos come out. And then you can always find me on your subscription list. You don't have to hunt for my channel. But I am giving this away to somebody who's a subscriber when we hit 80,000. And then every 5,000 until we get to 100,000, I will give away a quilt. So this one, there is a link to the pattern in the description box below. It's from American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine, the pattern. Susan Aki designed the pattern. Uh, and I made this a few years back during a challenge. There was a challenge. But guess what? We only need, as of me filming this, 1,050 people. That's it. 1,050 people to sign up for uh, getting my notices and then I can send this to somebody. So be sure that you share that if you would with all of your friends, whoops, tell your quilt friends so that they can get in on the fun and join us here. All right, so many things. Scrapalicious day. Look at all these two and a half inch squares I have. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. I'm excited to show that to you. Excited to get it out today. So it's really nice to put that on the calendar. All right, I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.